Okay, hi guys. Good morning. How are you? Um, you want to be at pattern-collections.com to find the daily pattern. And we're going to scroll down to pattern focus. Um, where were we last? We last stopped at yin yang. So I want to go with this one. This one is called Uger. Uger? Uger? By Yuru Chen. A lovely little organic pea pod type tangle, looks like. I've not seen this one before. Sorry about the glare. Oh, uh, sorry. I thought you guys were getting glare. Apparently, I was just getting glare on my screen on my camera. Okay. No glare. We're good. Okie dokie. So, it looks like the first thing we're going to do is make sort of a snaky sort of a shape and aura it and connected it the two ends. So it's it's a it's like that. Right? You guys can do that. I can do that. Easy. Then the next thing we're gonna do is gonna draw three kind of long skinny I don't know. I'll call them wings. So one two, three, one, two, three, like that. You can do that. And they're not right across from each other. They're offset, but they're kind of close, kind of in the middle. And then from this side, I'm gonna draw this like that, and this like that. I, I don't think the arrows, it shows arrows, but I don't think it makes any difference which way you draw it. You go from here to here. It does, I don't think it makes that much difference. As long as you kind of, it looks like it's attached, right? So that's your basic pattern right there. And then you can shade and see you don't have to just have two. It's just as long as they're kind of offset. So you can have more than one. And in here, shows them with some holes in them and some, some other bits and pieces. That's an interesting way to do it. I'm not exactly sure. And see, it's being used here as a border. Right like that. It's being used here, but instead of just going on the outside, they've continued and added some lines to make it sort of a little sparkle band. So that's really interesting, and I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do yet. But let's turn on the light, although there's quite a bit of light today. And yes, I have a little band-aid on my fingy. I got it owie at work. Let's see. Oh, I'm almost out of pages. I'm going to have to cut some more paper. Now, um, for those of you who have followed me for are kind of new um, just to let you know I cut my own tiles I don't use the official tiles just because I go through zillions of them I mean I'm drawing at least one pattern a day uh, I could I can't afford the official tiles and then I do draw on both sides trying to be economical so I just have a sketchbook in the you know in the weight of paper and the feel of the paper that I like um, doesn't matter what you use and then I just cut them into the three and a half by three and a half squares um, use whatever paper makes you feel good um, you definitely want your art to to make you happy so if a heavy paper or a um, homemade handmade thick like watercolor paper any paper that makes you happy if it feels good to you use it um, and cut it to whatever size you want if you want to do them square that's great. This is the official Zentangle size, three and a half by three and a half. But you can do four by four, which is the size I did my, um, when I did my Inktobers, I did them four by four. See, they're a little bit bigger. But that's a comfortable size. Um, some people like doing what they call twinchies or inchies. They do it two by two or one by one. 
that's really too small for me. I'm not comfortable with that size, but some people really like that. So, you know, you don't have to stick to the official untangle tiles. My table is all squeaky again. We must be starting to get a little bit of moisture. Finally, it's been hot again. Um, I'm going to draw a border like so. You guys are a little off. My camera's a little, I got bumped. That's better. I got to get a little bit closer to me. Okay, and I think maybe I'll use a string. Um, hmm, what do I want to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a string kind of here and then maybe divide my tile. Is that a good place to just divide it right like that? Maybe here also. Just trying to make a, a, a pleasing composition by just putting a couple lines out there. I may or may not follow them exactly. It's fine, you don't have to. Um, and I think maybe, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, zoom in just a little bit. And I'm gonna put one right here and I'm gonna start it about here. And end it like here, I think. Little like that, sort of an S shapey, sneaky shape, right? And then we're going to go down a little bit. We're going to go one, two, and three like that. And then somewhere on this side, we're going to go one, two, and three like that. And then again over here, maybe make it bigger. I'm leave it just with three. And then from here to about there, from here to up in here somewhere like this, make some sort of pod shape. Skip and go to there and go to there. That's it. That's the extent of it. And then I'm gonna decide, I'm gonna do another one. I'm probably gonna put three, maybe more, but for sure three. Um, I'm gonna put one in here, but I want it to like it's ending back behind here. So I'm gonna do like this. Play with size of these little three bit things. Make this one really tall in comparison to that other one. And I'm going to make some of them a little bit shorter, like that. Why not? Play with scale, right? Like that and coming back behind there. And here, coming out here, and going that way. Yep, I'm happy with that. Actually, My other one is going to go here, and I'm going to go right like this, like that, and I'm going to go
this and I'm gonna go it'll end up there and it'll come out here and that'll come from about there and it'll end up there something like that I was actually thinking this would be closer to that one and overlapping more and it's not but that's okay let's try another one right here um, underneath there. Something like that. And then this is going under there. This is going under there. And that's all you see of that one. That one goes here, comes out there, and goes to there. I like that. Okay. And then it needs some just this shape. like like maybe when it's growing it comes up it grows the stem and then it grows these little pod pieces and then it fills that in maybe as it's growing so I'm gonna have like a minute like a like a I'm assuming like a juvenile or maybe this is the after it's finished and the pot is opened and things have fallen away and it leaves just a stem with bits hanging off after it's opened. That might be what happens. Yeah, that's what happens. And I'm going to make this like this, where it's like this one's starting to gape open just a little bit. Starting to break away. Why not? Oh, that that really helps this. Oh, I like that. Okay. I'm gonna do that again. Do it from here. I'm gonna make this go a little bit bigger. This direction. And then it's going to come out, and it's going to kind of like way open like that, and be tight up against there. Ah! Oh, I like that. Okay, that's good. And then maybe one more coming up here. And it's got like a broken Piece. 
that didn't go quite as much well as I had anticipated, but. Yeah, that's not exactly what I had planned. We're gonna go this way though. Put this one, and it's gonna go This, this was not quite right. It needs to go more like that, I think. Better. Okay, that's better. Needs a little, um, needs a little shading. And then I'm going to do one more coming out of here. And again, these little, I like it like that. I like this stem better than, than this other thing that I did. The other thing was not, not my happy day. But this is okay, like that. They're gonna, they don't need a border. I'm gonna erase that border. And I've forgotten its name. It's called Y O U G E R. Okay, so I'm going to erase my border. For those of you who are new to my channel, I, I do pattern drawing. I don't necessarily do Zentangle per se. I do do it in a square format. Um, I follow the patterns uh, at pattern-collections.com. Um, some of them are on this website are may not be what you would call a Zentangle pattern because they're too representational, um, but that's okay, you know, because it's a pattern club, not necessarily a Zentangle specifically, because Zentangle is its own beast. It is specifically a uh, a teaching form, a a, a, a uh, almost a. What do I want to say? Mm, my brain is gone. <clears throat> Words are not happening this morning. Um, it's a it's a way of drawing, and the Zentangle method is um, focuses much more on the Zen. And I I totally get the whole um, you know the drawing is the joy part. And, uh, you know, if you happen to come out with a beautiful piece of work, that's cool. And if you don't, that's all right, too. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, there are some patterns that are definitely more zen tangly than others, is what I'm trying to say. And, um, but the zen tangle method is a specific method that involves um, steps that I don't do. And I'm not teaching that, and I am not a teacher, and I'm not a certified Zentangle teacher. And, um, you know, maybe one day I'll get to that point where I, that's what I want to do and where I want to go, but I'm, I'm not there. That's not, not me. Um, because, you know, I, t I want to use my eraser and I want to uh, not necessarily follow the guidelines set out 
by the Zentangle method. So, you know, just a disclaimer if you guys are new to the channel that, um, you know, I am not a CZT and I'm not teaching you. What I'm doing is I'm looking at the daily pattern and I am learning along with you guys. So there are going to be days, like there was this one this last week, yeah, that didn't go as I had anticipated because, you know, I don't look ahead. I just come upon them as I come upon them. I don't practice. And it's it's part of what I do. Um, I do it on purpose. And I'm doing all my videos in, uh, not in fast forward, in real time, uh, on purpose. So that you guys get a feel of, of how long it actually takes to draw a particular thing. You can always speed up. You can always fast forward. You can, you can click the fast forward or you can click the little gear and you can speed me up. You don't have to watch me draw in real time. That's fine. Um, but my point here when I first started the channel was to help guide a few people who were having, they were, they were feeling lost and they were feeling frustrated because their works didn't look like they thought they should. And that, um, they didn't know where to get started. They didn't know how to do what I was doing in my art. And, you know, I find it so easy. And sometimes, you know, you forget that it's, not necessarily easy and especially when you're working with patterns that you're very familiar with um, and so I on purpose decided to follow along with the daily patterns because um, they are not patterns I'm familiar with um, most patterns use shapes that I'm familiar with so you know I'm, I'm familiar with an S shape I'm familiar with a, this little kind of arch shape it's broken down into into small steps and into shapes that you can you can digest and it's like well I can draw this shape and if I can draw this shape and then I add this shape I can draw this shape and this shape and so forth and so on until you end up with something that you, you feel happy with um, but the point is 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 that I am not I'm not teaching I'm just learning and I'm letting you guys watch me as I learn and sometimes I learn easily and sometimes it takes me a minute to figure it out and that's okay because you guys need to know that um, sometimes it's a struggle and some patterns are just super easy and very zen and and, and easy to do and some patterns are just difficult patterns which is why I wouldn't call them Zen tangle necessarily tangle pattern maybe but Zen tangle no because um, there's you lose the Zen part in some patterns and you know because not all patterns are Zen tangle patterns but they are cool patterns and and that's why at at pattern-collections.com um, they're not focusing necessarily on Zentangle only patterns, but on patterns and drawing patterns that are really cool. And if you are on Facebook, go to Tangle It Pattern Club and join over there. Um, it's a great bunch of people who just do an amazing job sharing their artwork and, you know, yeah, it's just spectacular. I'm going to do something with this thing because I'm not overly happy with what happened here. But I'm going to try to make it look like uh, it's behind by making it much darker than everything else. Like that. But I got too carried away with my pencil. So I'm going to take my kneaded eraser and I'm going to make it into a little tip. I'm just kind of roll it around until it's created a little like elephant nose. And I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to tap 
in a spot. I got a little too, too narrow. Too narrow is good, but you don't want it too long. I got it too long, which meant it wasn't doing what I wanted it to. It was bending too much. I'm just going to tap, and that will pick up that little bit of graphite that I didn't want there. And then I'm going to go pack with my smaller blender and get up into this corner again. There we go. That's better. You may not, might not even be anything you notice, but it, it bothered me. So, you know, I just wanted, especially anybody who's new to the channel, I've got a, I've got a lot of new viewers. Holy guacamole. A lot of new viewers. And uh, you guys might not be aware of, of why I'm doing what I'm doing. So I just wanted to let you know, I think this needs like a shadow coming out here. These are kind of casting a shadow. I got a little carried away there. I didn't want it up. up. Probably not a good place for it. Like that, get rid of that one. go. Now they're kind of sitting on the ground there, casting a bit of a shadow. That's better. And this needs a little, this one needs to cast one in here. And I think I need it a little darker right along here. What was that noise? Sometimes my, my phone does things that I don't know what it's telling me. Oh, okay. That's just a notification. So I just have you guys along on my journey of learning new patterns. Some of them I really like. Some of them are just eh, okay. Some of them I really struggle with. But you know, it's it's all a matter of experimentation and finding what you like and finding um, what works best for you. And and then can, using these daily drawings as practice to move them into a larger piece, a bigger thing that you're working on. One that's more, I, I consider these more practice pieces. They're, they're small, they're, they're, you know, just learning pieces. Um, they're not something I would put into necessarily a, a give them as a gift just like this. Some of them have come out really spectacular and absolutely I would, but most of the time they're just, um, you know, practice. These are practice. And then I can take the ones that I really like and I can move forward with them into other pieces of art um, and using the patterns that I've really because, you know, on, on a daily pattern, 365 patterns in a year, you are not going to like them all. You just aren't. And, and that's, that's, that's a fact. You're not going to like them all. But you can then have some that you really um, feel good about and have them really resonate with you. And um, you'll bring them into your art practice uh, uh, regularly. And that's the point of doing these daily patterns. So this one was interesting. I may or may not use it again, but at least I have it and I have it in the back of my mind and I can go through my, my pile of, of, of tiles and I can say, oh yeah, I like this one. Um, or go through my, my, my pictures. I've been taking pictures at the end of every one of my videos. I take a picture. I uh, have been trying to remember to put them up on my Draw Tangles with Dawn Facebook page. I am really bad at it. I, I totally admit that I am really bad at it. I'm probably three or four weeks behind. Um, and when I have a moment, I'll go take care of that. But at least I keep take the picture um, and then I put it up there. I have an archive, I have a record of it. I always have the name of the pattern on my tile so that um, I know which one it is so I can go look it up again if I want to use it and then um, You know, I give these away. I do 
I, I give a, a lot away. And Christmas is coming soon. And I will probably do another giveaway here shortly. Um, let, me, let me take a quick peek at my YouTube statistics. Hang, hang, hang tight with me here. Just a moment. Uh, my channel. I have 7,709 subscribers, you guys. 7,709. I cannot, I, can, I can't even imagine this. I really can't. I thought like 50 people were going to watch me, right? The, the, my, my, my friends in my Tangle groups, they were going to watch me. Not even everybody in the Tangle group, just a few. I can't believe this. So, um... Yeah, I will I will make a plan for some sort of giveaway. Not sure what yet, but I will make a plan because um, we're cl climbing up here maybe at, at 8,000. Sounds like a good number. 8,000 sounds like a good number. So when I hit 8,000, I'll have a, a, a video uh, ready to go that will... Um, have some sort of giveaway attached to it. And that's it. I want you guys to have a really great day. Go out and do something nice for somebody today. Make the world a better place because, you know, we can use that and, and be a blessing in someone's life. Um, you know, yeah, you can do that. Everybody has the power to bless somebody else's day. You go out and blast somebody's day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.